Welcome to an Achieving Science video. This video is all about addition polymerization. What is an addition polymer? An addition polymer is where alkenes have been joined together to form a long, more useful molecule. Let's have a look at the, an example of this reaction. To begin with, we need to know what the term monomer means. Mono means one, and therefore this is the name given to a single alkene that is used to make a larger molecule. For instance, here we have an alkene. An alkene is shown by having a double carbon-carbon bond, which is shown at the center here. We then use this monomer in the reaction, and therefore within the reaction, first of all, the double bond is opened, then the monomers can join together with other monomers to produce a long chain molecule which we refer to as a polymer. Poly meaning many, so many repeating molecules of the same type. For this reaction to occur then, we need certain conditions. First of all, we require a catalyst. A catalyst speeds up the reaction without being used up itself. It also lowers the activation energy. As many of the reactants are gases, we also require high pressures to ensure the reaction takes place quickly. We can represent what's happening in the reaction then, using some diagrams. The reaction forms one product, the polymer. So we start off with the monomer, the alkene, shown with a double bond, and react it together with other alkenes, other monomers, to produce a big long chain. The polymer then is going to contain the same elements, so it's still going to contain two carbons and four hydrogens and you can see that in the diagram here. The difference is though, at the beginning we start off with a double bond, but at the end this becomes a single bond. And this double bond in the reaction breaks open and therefore we represent that by the bond going over the brackets so it's fully opened, so it can join with other monomers. Now the only thing that's missing in this diagram is, well, how many monomers we use to make this polymer chain? We represent this with the letter N. N refers to the number, so the number of monomers that are used to make this big long polymer. So for instance, this could be 50. This would mean that 50 monomers are used to produce a chain of 50 repeating units that look like this. So N is the number of monomers. Let's have a look at naming one then. As you recall from your alkene section, anything that contains two carbons it starts its name with eth. And as this has a double bond, this is ethene. So our monomer is ethene. The name given to our polymer then takes the name of the monomer, ethene. And because it's now a big long repeating chain, it therefore takes the name before it of poly, meaning many. So in this reaction shown here, we have ethene producing polyethene, polythene more commonly known as.